Hello everyone, in this video we are going through this short intro introduction to soil moisture active passive SMAP. All the texts and the codes are from the tutorial available from Earth Engine community section. SMAP or soil moisture active passive is the Earth satellite mission that measures Earth soil moisture. Soil moisture is important component in different applications, such as weather forecasting, drought and flood predictions, agriculture, and more. SMAP was launched in January 2015. It had these two uh, components, an active radar and the passive radiometer. The radar instrument keyed operation in early 2015, and currently the passive L-band radiometer is in, is in its working conditions. And the there are some specifications of the radiometer. We have the frequency, polarization, resolution, and the relative accuracy. So the SMAP, uh, SMAP's radiometer collects the emitted energy from the surface. It contains this 20 foot wide mesh antenna rotating at about 14 times per minute. And this is the largest such spinning antenna in a space. So the SMAP measures, SMAP measures the water content in the top layer of the swell that should not be covered with the water or it should not be frozen. Uh, so it is not able to measure the ice. So the Basic principle is how the microwave energy is received. The drier the soil, there will be more microwave energy, and the wetter the soil, less energy. And this uh, information is collected, and this uh, is used to calculate the water content. So SMAP measures the radiation in the L band uh, microwave wavelength, and this can penetrate clouds. So SMAP can measure soil moisture regardless of the cloudy conditions. So this tutorial provides us with the three uh, piece of codes, and these codes are pretty adaptable in our daily uh, analysis. So let's go through this. So if you type uh, in the search bar, writing SMAP, you will find the three different data sets. So the three different data sets have these uh, three different uh, bands, and they can be used in their own ways. So the example codes provides us with the use of this data set, SMAP L3 radiometer, global daily nine, kilo, uh, nine kilometers of moisture. And here we see this EE dot image collection. Uh, so this is the string for this uh, data set. And then we are doing this dot filter date for the day 2023, April 5th. And this dot filter debt uh, is selecting this debt, and this will give us the images available in this particular debt. And this is uh, assigned to the variable name data set. From this data set, we're selecting this band, swell underscore moisture underscore AM uh, within the codes. So there are different bands uh, in the data set, and we're selecting just this. Um, just this uh, band. And this is the descending pass. So the satellite passes uh, down to the surface of the Earth or it goes up uh, while, while, uh, it, it, while it is in its travel. So there are two different passes. There's a descending pass and ascending pass. Based on that, there are two different uh, bands available in this data set. And then we have printed them just to see what it contains. And then we have the visualized parameters. Uh, here we can see the color brackets inside which we have the minimum and maximum values. And then we have the palette here. So palette refers to the different uh, sets of colors that will be used in the visualization. And finally, we are adding them as the layer. So the first one is the name of the uh, variable or name of the band that we're trying to visualize. Then we have the uh, visualizing parameters with minimum and maximum values, and also with the sets of colors. 
then we are providing this string. So this will be the name in the layer section. And then we are also doing this map dot set center. So this is the location where the map will be zoomed uh, at the zoom level two. So basically what we're doing here is we're just selecting the data or the selecting the band uh, from the specific debt and then we're adding them as the layer. So you can do the run and we'll see something like this here in the in the in the map layers. So we have the two different layers here. So one is the ascending pass and uh, the other one is the descending pass. And we have, uh, and we also have these uh, things or are the image collections being printed at the console. So this contains the bands here. The first one had different bands. Then we selected the band, the descending pass and the ascending pass. So this will have the only one band now. Then we have the second piece of codes. So again, we are selecting the uh, selecting the same data set. And but before that, we are selecting the country here. So here is this data set, uh, which contains the different boundaries of uh, all the countries. And from this feature collection, we are selecting this country code or the ISO code for the country named uh, Uruguay. And this is done by dot filter. Uh, inside the brackets, we have the e.filter.eq. So this is underscore alpha three is the uh, properties within this feature collection. So we want to select this uh, string URY. So this is for the country named Uruguay. And then we move further. And here we are seeing this dot filter debt. So we are selecting the debts. Uh, we're selecting the dates uh, from for this month, and all the images uh, will be from this month. And then again, we're selecting the band name that is the swell underscore moisture underscore am. And then we have these visualizing parameters. Uh, and then we are centering that uh, that feature into the map layer with the zoom level seven, it will just yeah. zoom that uh, zoom that layer. Then we have the selection of these bands and then we are converting all the images or all the uh, all the all the things or all everything that present in that to be converted as the bands. So these dot two bands will make those uh, different uh, features as the uh, as the bands. And then here we are computing the mean of all those uh, features. So this was in the band, and this now will have the uh, reduction as the mean. So we'll get the final single image, that is the mean image of all the uh, bands present there. Then we further see the use of this band called the retrieval underscore qual underscore flag underscore am. So this is uh, the um, quality uh, bands. So it is just used to hide the unnecessary pixels that are present in the uh, image. And again, this has also been converted to the bands. Then here we're doing this dot EQ equal to zero. So it means some type of or some uh, values needs to be marked. So the, the marked values or the marked pixels are those pixels which are not of that uh, quality or of the, are, are, are of uh, not of that highest quality uh, that might be helpful in the further analysis. So basically we are reducing it uh, with the this uh, quality band. And again, we are reducing it with the mean. Uh, but before that, we see this uh, swell motion underscore AM uh, being muxed or muxed with those quality pixels. And then again, same thing has been repeated. So this reduces uh, with the mean that will give us the single mean image. And again, we are adding this as the layer. In the first case, the uh, the masking was not done. We directly selected the old bands, did the mean, 
and the second case we had this um, quality pixels masking uh, being done using the quality uh, bands and again doing the mean and then here we are clipping this with the country file or the country boundary and then we are adding uh, we are exporting uh, it to the task so we can run this so basically what we did here is the we selected the bands and then we all the bands from available uh, or sorry all the images available in those months were converted into the bands and we did the mean and also we also learned how to use this uh, quality band present within this data set to max the max the pixels and here we see like this here so we are also adding this as the layer so the first one is the is is without the masking and the second one is with the mask and we can see something in the talks here they're asking to uh we can see this as the unsubmitted talks and if we run this this will uh, get saved in our uh google drive then we have the last uh six of codes so the last piece again we are selecting here the data set we have the point uh and then we're again centering this point with the gem level seven we have the visualizing the parameter for uh, with the minimum and maximum values and we have the colors then we have the start and index we are filtering the data with the start and index and we're selecting the two different uh, bands so this one is uh, this one is the two different bands present in that data set and again we're also doing this filtering again only for the last date and we're selecting this band and then we are uh, reducing it as by the mean so we will get the mean image and then we are adding this as the layer by selecting the band sm underscore surface and we're also adding the point as the layer and then we are doing this uh, chart here so our image collection is the soil moisture where we're selecting the two different bands our point or the our point is the reason so all the uh, pixels or all the uh, values will be selected from this point and then we are doing this e or user dot mean so we'll have the mean values being plotted uh in the chart so the scale uh, value we have some constant here so the x property is the time underscore start that means the time properties will be uh, shown in the x axis then we have the set series name so this will be helpful to know which band is which which line is which then we have the title uh, in the options so this will just give the information in the top of the chart we have the horizontal axis and we have the vertical axis some title for the horizontal and vertical axis and the line width is five so this will give us a thick line and then we have the colors and then we have the call back function just to just how the function will appear so we can run this so basically we have done is uh, we have selected the bands and we have plotted it in the uh, in the console by using this ui dot chart dot image dot series and you can see this uh, root joint soil moisture and the other one is the soft soil moisture so we just plotted the uh, plotted the chart here and we also uh, added this this soil moisture as the layer So this is the uh, short intro to the uh, SMAP. Please go through this link. Uh, and there are many things to learn about this uh, SMAP data set. So I hope this was helpful to you at some extent. Uh, if this was helpful, uh, thank you to you. Thank you for watching.